Hey everybody, this is Miss Queen Mind, and today I want to talk to you about who is the sex really for in a relationship, right? And this message really is for my married ladies because, yeah, I'm straightening up my hair. I don't know what it is about this side. It's just, I don't want to do right. I got this different kind of curl pattern. Anyway, so I have, um, I have a question, and I had to ask myself this question. Who is sex really for in a relationship? You know, well... You know, it's hard to say because personally, you know, I like to have sex. Who doesn't like to have sex? It feels good. It's great. It's stimulating. It makes you feel close with your, your mate. I mean, sex is a beautiful, a beautiful, wonderful, magical thing. You know, it's just wonderful. So, um, but let me tell you, it's, it's another side of it. Right, ladies? Because, like, I know, like, half of the women that heard the video the first time was like, I'm not having no sex. I don't feel like it. This is that, that. Ladies, I am telling you, if you is not giving your man some sex, somebody else going to. Sex should be right there on your to-do list, like taking out the trash, feeding the kids and everything. At least once or twice a week, you need to stop making excuses and turn the booty in and give your man some. What you talking about? This is, this is, this should, this should, this, nah, stop. You need to focus, see? When you say, I don't have enough energy, or I'm tired, or I'm exhausted, it's because you are, your house is out of order. So you working and you using up a lot of energy that you should be, like, kind of conserving. The way that you, you got to clean up. You got to clean up your life so that you could be living your life. You know, you don't just want to be just working just to work. You want to be, you, you go to work because... One, you might like what you do. Two, you need the money. You know, them are the only two reasons you need the money to support yourself, and you might like what you do. But other than that, that's really the only reason. Yo, know, your life starts when you clock out and you go home. That's when you give your all, and 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 and, and that's why you should love because that's what you're creating. That's your personal special thing. And your, your relationship with your man is your, is your personal thing. And who don't want a man to love him and make him feel special and touch him and kiss him? And, you know, you got to let him do that. You know, you got to make him feel like, you know, that's what you want and that's what you need. You know, you got to you gotta let him know that, you know, just like he chose you, you choose him. You want his love. You know, you want that from him. So... It's, it's very important that, you know, we don't forget about that. It's, it's, it's important. Don't be selfish. You know, that's what love is. Love is the constant assessment of someone else's needs. I know you know that your man needs certain things, so give it to him. <laughs> Period. If you need certain things and he loves you, he's going to know that, and he's going to do those things for you because he loves you and he knows that's what you need. And you ain't got to ask him, you know. Well, sometimes you might have to ask him, but really, if he loves you, he's going to make sure that you're good, you know. So, and, and he and he probably is. You know, if your man getting out here working every day, he giving you half his paycheck. I mean, what person you know want to give all their money to stay somewhere with somebody? Nobody want to spend. I mean, but they do. They do. And they suffer and they go without just as much as we do. And we need to really understand that and see that. Isn't well, we're not in this this fight by ourselves. We're not in this fight by ourselves. We have if, if you if you're lucky enough to have a good strong man beside you in this fight with you, fucking appreciate him. What the fuck? Appreciate him. And if you don't have no man, slow down, go home, fix your shit up, and you'll get one. Simple. All this chasing and, and, and this is really, I just, you, you wasting time. You wasting time. Please don't be like a 50-year-old, 60-year-old spinster. You know, I ain't never found me no husband. That's because you never settled down to, to let one come to you. That's the only way that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I absolutely believe that if you take care of your man at home, you're going to have a happy home. Just like they say, happy, happy happy house happy wife or whatever happy house happy spouse absolutely and be having a happy home you got to take care of your old man 
You got to make sure he good. You got to make sure he have what he need. And he's going to reciprocate that in, in, in return. And if he don't, you're going to fuss at him and you're going to let him know you're going to have to do it. But in order to get something, in order for us to be uh, able to receive, we got to be willing to give. And you got to lead by example. Don't sit there and ignore your man. He coughing. He's sick. You just don't pay him no attention. You know, everything he, he got to figure out on his own. And you know what to do and just don't do it. I'm so sick of seeing, you know, these husbands come in and they cholesterol out of whack. And this year wrong with them and they diabetes. And your wife, you know, probably no more got sick friends and everything. And she ain't even trying to help you. Where's the help, ladies? What y'all trying to, to kill? Work them till they die. Work them till they die. And then um, once they dead, you know, then we get some, some insurance money on them or something. Yeah, that's really hateful. The whole purpose that you get with this person is because you wanted a friend. You wanted a life partner. You wanted someone to walk through the trenches with. And this person said, hey, I will stand beside you and I will walk with you. You know? And I'll trust you if you trust me. That's what that's what you agreed about. That's what that's what that's what the marriage is. I we agreed that we would take this walk together, and that we would love each other, and that we would be good to each other. And are we? Are we being good to each other? Are we being honest with each other? Are we assessing each other's needs? You know. Needs is not just about sex. You need, they need a lot of things. You need a lot of things. But the only way that we're going to really understand what we need is we got to, number one, uh, we got to communicate. We got to be open to learn. We got to learn to love. We got to learn to be, you know, willing to accept our flaws and know that we're not perfect because we're not. And you know, it's, it's 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 vital, ladies. You're not gonna have a good loving relationship until you really hang up your your willingness. Until you hang up your 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 head of selfishness. And I know it's it's a lot, but it's really not. It's nothing to love. Love is free. And if you get love, you give love. You get love. If this guy right here, this this one that you might have, he might not be appreciating you. He might not feel the way that you feel. He might be acting all kind of ways about you. But guess what? Don't matter. The main thing that you got to do is just remember that, you know, it's somebody out there for you. And if that's not the one for you, then don't worry about it. If he's not the one for you, then just let him go. And, you know, you do your thing and he'll do his thing. But one thing that we're not going to do is... Torture, torture the person that we with. We're not gonna stay there and be ha unhappy. You know, if you find yourself like I can't do, I can't love him. I, I, I don't want to fuck him. I don't want to be around him. If that's how you feeling, then by all means, you definitely need to go. But if that's not how you feel, if you really feel like, you know, if you really feel like you could do something with him, then assess his needs, love him, give him some booty on the regular, feed him, do pack his lunch. Make sure he all right. Just love is free. You ain't got to be like, just see what I, just look at him. He'll tell you his, his whole demeanor, I'll tell you what he need. That's that's all it is. Just love. You ain't got to go all out your way. Small things, you know, say I love you. Okay? So, I appreciate you listening to me. I thank you for your time. Queen from creation at gmail.com. I hope these videos help. Leave me a message. Subscribe to my channel. I am just like you, figuring this life out, and I'm just a woman bringing you a word. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye.